with only its surface structures explored and photographed by hundreds of people over the years. The Sterling Mine produced nearly $3 million worth of silver and gold from 1937 to 1943, and at one time was the state of Nevada's largest silver producer. With its 600-foot vertical shaft, this mine extracted and processed nearly 400,000 tons of ore by an on-site mill and cyanide leaching methods. this epic descent as I take you to where no abandoned mine explorer has gone before and I show you for the first time the hidden secrets and perilous journey into the very bottom of the Sterling Mine. Well, hey everybody, welcome back. Okay, I brought you guys to a location that I personally have been looking forward to documenting for a very long time. There's been a lot of YouTubers in this area that have uh, done a fine job at documenting the surrounding area, the trestle, the head frame here, and all of the buildings around, but no one has ever went down into this mine. What I've got behind me here is a 600 foot vertical shaft with no drifts between this level and the 600. Then down on the 600, there's supposed to be a bunch of drifts with a whole bunch of collapse and another 300 foot decline with a skip car hiding down in there somewhere. All right, let's get started. All right, everybody, let's explore this old mine. Okay, so like within all of these vertical shafts, the ladders right here from the get-go are always the sketchiest. So we gotta be real careful on those, but here in Nevada, the ladders always tend to get better and better the deeper you go. But these, these few right here at the opening are always the worst. So, all right, come on down. The, the weather's fine. Now, past this skinny part, get past all these spider webs. Here we go. Okay guys, you can go ahead and come on down. The ladders are looking really nice. All right, I'm gonna get to a point here and uh, show you. Let me show you what we have. So, First of all, this is where we're coming from, right there. Okay, as I shoot down, we've got a big black widow spider. Look at the size of that black widow right there. Let's see if I get a better picture of him. There's a, that's a good looking black widow spider right there. All right, what do we have here? 
how is this one looking? Not too bad. That's still doable, but we're definitely coming into a debris field. Um, let's look down here. Oh yeah, lots of debris has fallen and ended up right there. Over the years, you know, people throwing stuff down here. The ladder's in nice shape. Oh yeah. Now, what do we have here? Oh, I see what's happened. Uh, part of the collar has failed through this section. Right there, see? This whole side of the collar has failed right there. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys where we came from. Right there. How's it looking, guys? Yeah. All right, just take your time. Hey. Nice and slow. Okay. Now for the difficult part. I gotta figure out how to get around this debris field here. Okay, guys, see this obstacle I have, I'm dealing with right here? Um, the collar failed and it all fell into this and that's what's preventing me from getting to that next ladder because the, the collar boards have all broken and fallen against this ladder. So I can't just easily walk down to the terrace because I have all this debris on top of it. So what I'm gonna have to do here put my backpack down and I've got to very carefully get around this. See how I'm doing this? So I can get to that there. Okay. All right, guys, I got past the obstacle, so now I can keep taking you down the ladders. There we go. Okay. I'm on the next ladder. Ooh, that ladder is just all scabbed. Looking ugly. Oh, we may have a drift. We either have a drift here or a station. We'll find out here in a second. Yep, then we know that we're at 100 feet. Oh, all right. What do we have hiding in here? Well, first of all, let me carefully sneak over here. Oh, yes, we're at a station. Down here on the ground, there's a bunch of drill steel. Oh, goodness, there's drill steel just laying everywhere. Yeah, let's look up here. We got a little thing going off that direction. Um, let's peek up in there. Does that go anywhere? Nope. Just stops right there. Okay. Well, this is kind of nice. I was, I was hoping, I was hoping for a drift because it kind of gives me a chance to you know, take a break off those ladders. Yeah, I'm going to film, uh, there's a small drift right here. I'm going to film and then I'll be back on the ladders. Yeah, absolutely. This is a great place to hang out at this station. Okay, I'm going to try to make my way down there while you're in there in the clear. All right, 10-4. Okay, I got things figured out here. Let's, uh, let's continue on looking around this place. Anything up in here? Oh, we've got a newspaper. 
right there. Okay. Let's see what we can find, huh? The Los Angeles Times. Oh, it's a uh, stock exchange information. And there's a date. Very nice. All right, let's see if I can get it. Oh, come on, I gotta try to get the camera on a little bit better there for you. Folks, okay. November 11th, 1936. Okay. Now, anything worth looking at up in this drift? Nope. Nothing hiding up in there. All right. Let's look up in here. Oh, here's a... Here's an area that's slowly collapsing over time on its own. And what do we have up in here? Whew. So far, the weather in here is beautiful. It's in the 60s. It's not too hot. I'm not seeing anything. Nothing's hiding up in this drift. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna head back to the to the shaft and we gotta still keep going down. We're only down 100 feet in a 600 foot shaft. Okay, everybody, Randy was uh, brave enough to come on down to the 100 level here. It's uh, not much of anything, but this is kind of a spot that he can hang out so we have better radio communications while I work my way. Safety purposes. Yeah, while I work my way down this next ugly stretch of ladders here. Well, I wouldn't say ugly. They're not looking not too bad. Right. But uh, let's see, I got some... Uh, can you pull that big board back there? Mm -hmm. So that one doesn't fall down the shaft on me. I'll get this out of my way. Perfect. There you go. All right, let's show everybody where I'm kind of headed here. You're not going to see anything yet because we're only... Yeah. We're only 100 feet down. Lots of dust. All right. Okay, let's see how I can navigate this next ladder here. Ooh, that's a... That is a really ugly looking ladder there. I don't know. Oh boy. Uh oh, I think we might be button hooked here. Well, if I can get one foot there, I did it. Okay. Yeah. Really hoping that things start getting a little bit nicer. Nope, I can't go around that way. I gotta go this way. Yeah, it's gonna be a big day for climbing ladders, huh? <laughs> wow. Yeah, I like the looks of this one much better. Yeah, now we're starting to get less and less stuff on these terraces. Again, another board, got to get out of the way. And I think we're coming up on the 200 level. Yep. Yep, we are definitely coming up on the 200 station of some kind. There we are. 
All right, let's get over here safely on the 200. What do we have? Okay, well it goes up that direction. Turn it back around. What else do we have in here? Looks like something that one time went that way, but stopped. And of course, where we still need to go is all the way down there. Yeah, we're only 200 feet into this 600 foot shaft. Okay guys, I'll be back and we'll explore this drift and see what it's all about. Okay, let's take a closer look at the at the 200 level, what we have down here. We've got some graffiti. Excuse me, it's really hard to make out. Nineteen thirty-eight. Down here on the floor is what looks to be the top of an old lantern, and that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Okay. I do see some old footprints right here in the ground. Yep, I'm seeing boot prints. Let's see how extensive the 200 is. Now, according to the mine report, there wasn't supposed to be any drifts. So <laughs> we've just proven that wrong now, haven't we? Okay, well, it looks like uh, we've got the primary going off this direction. I thought I heard some something collapsing. <sighs> Let's... Uh, Let's look up here first. Rowiton Fresh Tips Cigars. Right there. Well, that doesn't look very old. Oh, here's a neat little pocket. Oops. Right there that they were chipping up into. Oh yeah, that's a that's a pocket of uh oh, I just hate it when the words don't come smoothly, you know? <laughs> barite. That's barite. Alright, anything going on up in here? Nope, no need for me to go any further. That's as far as it goes. Okay, turning back around. down this yeah yeah we're at the 202 let's see what goes around the corner here oh yeah I can see look at this vein look at this pretty vein they're going after here Oh, that's just a beautiful vein of barite. And that, guys, is what I had up on my eBay site a few weeks ago. Well, actually, by now it'll be technically a few months months ago. Oh, there goes that crazy laser again. They have a tendency to turn on all by themselves when the batteries start getting low. That's why it's doing that. Yeah, look at this. Wow. Okay, we have a small drift going up this way. I'll take you guys up in here and show it to you. Again, down here on the floor, there's a beautiful chunk, chunky piece of barite right there. Look at that. Look at that. 
Yeah, I know you guys are saying, grab a specimen. Well, <laughs> that means I have to add even more weight going back up those ladders. And I'm sure I can find a specimen for you somewhere topside. Okay, that doesn't go, any go anywhere. Turn it back around. What do we have here? Well, we have a bunch of material that came down from, what is it, a raise? Yeah, yeah, and we've got something going off that direction and something to the right. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's go look up here first, shall we? Yep, more barite, big vein of it, wow, okay, now let's get over here past, past this thing, this small collapse. See what we have up here. We have an area that was shored up and timbered and it has now all failed. Yeah, most likely This all came down with earthquake activity. All right. Okay, I am going to head back to the shaft because we have another 400 feet to go, if possible. I'll see you back there. Okay, I'm back here at the shaft. Now it's time to go down another 100 feet to the next drift level. All right. I have another ladder. Let's see how I'm gonna get off, off to that. There. Wow, talk about a descent into the depths of hell here. <laughs> Okay, I think I can get to this next level. Let's go another one. Maybe there's a drift down here. drift here either. Here's a short spot. And we have to try to navigate right there with a board. Oh goodness. All right guys I'm gonna take a break a second I'll be right back. Okay back again. Yep I took a break. Ugh. Some of the oh, sweat out of my eyes. Now, what do we have going on here? Well, 
here's another board that's fell. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, let's see here. Oh. Yeah, I have to move that over here. That's better. So it doesn't fall on my head. And there's this big rock right on the ladder. Let's get him out of there. Well, let's see. Holy moly. <laughs> That's a long ways down. I'd say we got 300 more feet to go. There's a drift, finally. Finally, we got ourselves a drift station. Very good. I'm going to see if it's at 300 or 400. I'm going to say it's 400. Because yeah, because I think I think we went at least another 200 feet into this. Never before recorded on YouTube, huh? All right, let me get over here. Very nice. Okay. We've got just a giant drift going off that direction. My goodness, this room is 20 feet wide and 10 feet, 12 feet tall. Okay, turning around. We've got another drift over here. Definitely looks like powder storage off that direction. Um, but I'm gonna take a moment, catch my breath, get everything readjusted and I'll be right back. Okay guys, let's look around here, see what we can see. There's where we just came from. Um, that right there is the safety bar that would swing down to keep you from falling into the shaft. Somebody wrote on that board there, it says Egan, and they were down here in 2004. All right, what I wanna do next is, I'm keeping a close eye on false floors, but I want to go over here and explore what looks to be the a big dynamite magazine right there. Absolutely. They even had a little door, a little door within a door. That's kind of neat. Does it say anything on this side? No. All right, what do we have hiding up in here? Any slee stack? <laughs> yeah, you newer generation, you don't know what that is. Back in the 70s, they had a show called Land of the Lost. That was a lot of fun to watch when I was a kid. What do we have here? Looks like at one time it was some shelving of some sort. There's a whole bunch of wax paper laying on the floor from dynamite boxes. And up there is some vent pipe, a lot of scrap wood, and the large sized carbide container right there. Okay, well, I'm not going to crawl across all of that debris. Down here on the floor, we have someone's notes. Just a bunch of numbers. 125, 151, 195.
yeah, notes of something or another. It could be inventory of dynamite. That's what we could have up here, all these little pieces of paper. His receipts. Now, well, a lot of warning type stuff came packed in the dynamite boxes. Here is a Well, that's a tobacco tin. It's, oh yeah, it's Prince Albert. It is Prince Albert. Okay. Well, I'm looking for something that'll give us a number as to what level we're on. Are we, are we 300, 400, 500? What are we? Okay. Let's go up in here and look around. Boy, for a, for a mine that's not supposed to have any drift levels between the surface and 600 level, they sure got that wrong, didn't they? I'm just kind of scanning the camera around. If I see something interesting, I'll point it out to you. But right now, all I'm really seeing is a bunch of debris. Nothing too interesting. And I'm looking out for dynamite, of course. Okay. Now this either could be another powder magazine or this could be an air door. Let's get in behind and see what we can see. No, they were, they were definitely mining this section because there's cross ties on the floor. They used to have rail here. Yeah, if you see my my little green laser come on, that little green dot, that's what it is. The batteries are dead and it keeps turning on all by itself. What do we have here? Some sort of miner's graffiti. All right, and uh, off to my left, a self-portrait. And I'm looking at the rock around me and it sure does look like rhyolite. Oh, yeah, no one's been up in here in a very long time. Although I am seeing boot prints from those people from probably 2004 who used to own this mine, I'm, I'm guessing anyways. Not seeing a lot of earthquake damage or anything like that. Just a nice hard rock mine going back in here. And uh, now here we've got a little bit of sulfur type material coming out. That's what all the yellow is. It's sulfides coming out of the rock. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'd say it's probably about 65 degrees right now. It, it is a little bit damp through this section. I can feel it in the air. Okay, what do we have here? Ooh, big, big, big area now. Big and dark. So you get in these dark areas. No matter how bright my lights are, it just gobbles that up. Down here on the floor, it looks like it was a. Uh, looks like it, these they were using these boards as a grizzly, but that might be like a winds right there. All right, let's see if I can. It doesn't go down very far. It could be all just chocked full of debris. All right, what do we have here? So the drift keeps going off to the right. And we've got one coming off to going off to the left here. I'll tell you what, I think what I want to do is just stay on the primary. Down here we've got here was a big bucket of 
carbide and now the air has gotten to it and it's completely corroded and rusted all right well let's look over here first Yeah, looks like they did a whole bunch of shoring. They shored up this area and now it's completely, completely failed. This area too, again, it's completely failed. Although it does look like it might go off that direction. Okay, we may come back and take a closer look at that. Now what do we have up here? Yeah, they had this Look here, they had this all timbered at one time. And now it's completely failed. But it looks pretty safe. I think I can safely get around this. my lights here yeah look at all the rotten wood on the ground there's a there's another old carbide container goes up that way and stops there's a whole bunch of muck sheets laying on the floor here that I'm walking on and it goes right there and stops Okay, let me get my feet under me here. All right, well, let's look up here. And it doesn't go anywhere there. Okay, that's gonna be it for this section, but I can see why they were, they, they chased it up this direction. Let me slowly pan around here and show you guys the vein right there there's the vein of silver that right there that's about two and a half feet across and it's all galena there's silver because that's what this is this is a silver mine all right let's get off of this sketchy stuff And see what else we have up here. Now we're headed back over to where the back of the mine failed. Right there, see? All this came down on its own. Yee, boy oh boy. This is really soft. Yeah. And at one time, it does kind of go up that direction. But nope, I'm not going to get underneath that stuff. That's all coming down off the back. Yeah, nope, I'm going to pass on that, guys. Because mm -mm. I'm the only person, I'm the only person down here. And it's not like we can just walk out of this mine via a horizontal haulage at it. I still have hundreds of feet of ladder I have to climb up, so... I cannot risk getting injured. Okay, what's over here? Oh, just lots of look at this just look at this beautiful barite barite ore flake in here. Look at that, guys. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? What a beautiful silver mine this is. Okay, well, let's keep following this direction. 
see what's hiding up in here. There's a, another carbide container here. Looks like at one time there was a table. Now it's completely rusted. Off to my right, we have some graffiti. 1936. And all right, we have a maybe at one time there could have been a stope here and this was an ore pass. Now all of this material has slowly come down over time. I think we can yeah, this rock is looking this looks pretty stable. I think we can safely get around this without it causing a problem. There we go. What do we have up in here? Oh, okay. carbide container and this is the section that they were working this would be on the opposite side where we just saw that collapsed material and at one time yeah this is going to be an ore pass going down to our lower levels definitely right here so we are at the top part top part of an ore pass or top part of a big chute Okay guys, I'm gonna work back to the uh, shaft. I'm gonna make a decision whether I'm gonna keep on going in this mine. So I'll see you back there. Okay guys, I am back here at the ladders and it would seem as though I've got at least another, oh, probably two, two to 300 feet left to go. But I gotta see if I can safely get onto this next ladder. This is looking pretty ugly here. Um, there we go. Yeah. There. Okay. Let's keep on going. Well, this is definitely the deepest shaft that I have ever, ever went down in my 35 year, I wouldn't call it a 35 year career, but I would say my <laughs> 35 years of doing this as a hobby. So, well, I'm just going to continue on down and try to get to the next drift or get to the bottom of this mine. So uh, if I find something cool along the way, I'll be sure to show it to you. Okay guys, I do believe we've reached the bottom of this mine. Um, we're at another station here. Now heading back over to the shaft, let me show you something. Yep. See what we have here? There, let me try a little bit better to show you. Okay, this is, this is a sump. And this right here is all the stuff that's ever been thrown down this mine shaft all of these years. Look at all of that debris right there. Okay, I'll try to get a little bit better look at it for you. Yep, that's the sump and it is completely filled in with debris. So indeed, we are at the 600 level. So what do we have down here? Well, looks like we've had some visitors back in 1995. Um, there's a lot of graffiti. Someone here 
was down in here back in 04. Off to this direction. We have this room in pencil mark up on the wall here. It says, let's see if I can find a better light to shine on that. Maybe you guys can make that out. Anyways, one bell for hoist, three bells, three bells for the 300, two bells to, to lower to the 440, etc., etc., is what all of that reads. Okay. Down here, we have a rack with piles and piles of drill steel. There is a full can of Arizona iced tea, which I will be drinking. <laughs> I don't care if it is from 2004. There's some jack legs right there. Two jack legs. Now in this room, above it says lighted lamps are not allowed in this room. But look at all of the visitors. 1960, 1959, more 59. Um, I'm just gonna kinda slowly pan this so you guys can read all of the graffiti. 1950, 69, 60, 59, 20 Paul Jack was in here in 51 and Bill Moore is a butt miner <laughs> whatever that means um, there is a little door right here oh that just opens up to expose the shaft okay let's look out here Lots of graffiti. There's something from 43. There is a portrait of a horse. And it looks like it reads Nightmare. Two horses are up there. Anything else? More graffiti off this way. Now we're back in 1943, 1940. There's someone's face. Now before I go down the big, the big drift here, let's first take a quick peek this direction and see if there's anything interesting hiding up and over this bulkhead. Ooh, there's a, there's a really there's a really old bottle right down in there, but I can't get to it without doing a lot of climbing. Okay, turn it back around. Now, let's look at this shaft one more time. That's where I came from. 600 feet down in the earth. One more time, let's look down. Looking down this shaft, I don't see any bodies. Nope. But I can tell Randy's up there kicking dirt. I can see dirt falling down the shaft. Anything hiding down there, any bodies? Everybody always says, if you found any bodies in the bottom of them shafts, well, I look every time I go into one. Nothing hiding around this corner. All right. So here we are, and it's so large. I'll try to get my light in there. That's how big of an area we're dealing with. It's at least 
30 feet wide through this section. The drift down there is again another 20 something feet and uh, 10 to 12 feet high. Oh, and down here is a box completely filled with railroad spikes for spiking the rail down to the cross ties. Okay guys, uh, I'm going to do a couple things to the camera here. I'll be right back and we're going to head into this drift. Okay, let's explore the 600. First of all, <clears throat> let's shoot all the way up in there, see what we have. Yep, I can see a possible air door or something. Wow, there's just, there's just graffiti everywhere. down in here. But the air feels really, I mean, it, it's, uh, it's fresh. Um, look at how the rust, look, see how it's completely destroying the rail right here. Look at that pile of rust eating, eating the rail. Here's the door. This was probably an air door at one time. Okay. Okay, so like always, if uh, you know we get back in here and my O2 meter goes off, we're gonna have to retreat. But I can tell just by breathing, I'm not having any I'm not struggling. It's it, the air is is cool and crisp. It is stale, for sure. Now here we've got a whole bunch of. Look at the zinc snow stalactites right there. That one there is probably eight inches long. Isn't that pretty? And I don't want to touch them. They they break off super easy. Wow, this is a nice big passage. It's five feet across on the on the floor, and again, at least twelve feet tall. Now somewhere up in here is going to be a winds or a decline shaft that goes down another 300 feet. This is just super duper. <laughs> and the footprints from all them old explorers are still down in here. All right, what do we have here now? So we'll start off to this side, dynamite boxes. Continues off that direction. Oh, okay, we've got a, um, there's an oxygen tank right there. That looks like an old acetylene tank right there. What's up in here now? Carbide tin. I'm trying to think of the name of that thing. Um, a resistor, I think. I, I believe that's what you guys called it. We saw a much larger one in that mill site. Phosphate, calcium, there's somebody's vitamins right there. Vitamins and a jar of mayonnaise. <laughs> oh, look here. Okay. No admittance. And I can clearly see why. Look at the, uh, look at how this has completely failed here. Yeah. Yep. 
Yeah, darn. That's completely caved in. There's a bench down there where the miners could sit and take a break. Here's a big gear. Makes me wonder if this is where that 300 foot decline is. A bucket filled with parts and pieces and pipe fittings. Okay. All right. Here's someone's coat. Is it a, oh, it's a, it's a leather jacket. Yeah. Let me prop it up and show it to you guys. Yeah. A leather coat. Okay. All right, we've got a drift going that direction. One going straight, another one up there turning to the left. What do we have hiding here? Oh, <laughs> reel upon reel upon reel of, uh, that's what the sa safety fuse, or you guys might know what is blasting fuse, came wrapped around. There's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spools, seven old spools of it there. There's a dynamite box. What's left of it? DuPont, 1937. 45% strength. Awesome. Okay, what else do we have in here? Down here on the floor is... I'm not sure what was in that jug. That looks like an old canteen. Let me look here. Yeah, that's what that is. I believe that's an old, someone's old canteen. And see how the belt would wrap around it there? That's cool. All right, what's over here? Oh, I can see right now I'm going to have to do a battery change out. So uh, I'm going to take a break a second and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, back again. Yep, I had to change out some batteries. That's why everything was looking really dark and dingy. Um, no sense in making my way all the way down to the 600 level. Not to give you guys a nice view of the mine with good, crisp, clean images. Anyways, I went over here to that table. That's where I did all my battery changed out and I looked glanced over here back at that tank and I said I wonder if there's still I wonder if there's still oxygen in there and indeed there is yep so if we run out of air we know where to come <laughs> okay so let's head back to kind of where we just were now that things are much brighter anyways there's the place I was just showing you with the spools, a safety fuse. Um, before we continue on up that direction, I think what I'm going to do is go to the right. There is a cyanide barrel that's been repurposed. Nope, they did not use cyanide down in the mine. Here is a accumulator. And what do we have over here? There was a door. Oh yeah, that was a the uh, um, wax paper insert that was in a in a box of dynamite. Still has all of the um, sawdust in it. More down there. There's a whole bunch of pieces and parts of plumbing and whatnot for compressor lines. There's a dynamite box that's been reused to hold all of those pieces and parts. Oh, look at this beautiful piece. Look at this. Look at that beautiful piece of barite. Oh, wouldn't that 
That sure would be a nice, that is a beautiful specimen, guys. Isn't that something? Okay, oil can, right there. All right, what do we have up in here? This was a, nothing inside of it. So you can tell there's been people down in here looking for, looking for goodies because they see stuff and then they let it sit just like this. Here's some cutting, cutting and drilling oil right there. That's what that is. Okay. Alrighty. Wow, just look at this. Another accumulator. Now I can tell by the dust on the floor that at one time uh, there was a big collapse down in here. What is that? Hold on, I see something off to my right. Look at, there's a wooden barrel filled with, you know, I'll bet that's lye. I'll bet it is, but the wooden barrel is pretty neat looking. And the reason I say I bet that's lie is because right here is a is a honey pot. General Chemical Company. You guys can probably read that better than me. Is there any nuggets? Any nuggets hiding in the honey pot? No. That's what it was. Here's an accumulator. Oh, would you look at that? There is a old bottle of Blatt's beer. A glass bottle of Blatt's. Yeah, you don't see that anymore. Blatt's went out of business. I think it was sometime in the 80s. That was a popular beer in the 70s. My dad drank a lot of that. All right, what do we have here? Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Well, my I, memory card ran out. So I'd take a second there and change a couple of batteries and slap in a new memory card. Hey, you know we're in a big mine when you fill up a 64 gig card. Well, now I know where all the dust came from. Yeah, this area completely failed right here. So we're not getting up into that part of the mine. And you notice, you see when it failed, that's, that's where all this dust came from that's on the floor. Just a big whoosh. All right, so uh, past the honey pot and the accumulator. There's some writing on there, but it's really hard to make out. Um, now we've got to head down this direction. So everything to the left has failed. It's all collapsed. And this has too over the years. See that stall there just holding that up while all of this other stuff came down on its own. Yeah, here's a... So remember when we were up at that last level and I said, yeah, that's probably the top of an ore bin or an ore chute or an ore pass? Okay, well right now this is directly below it and that's where we're at. Okay, let's see if we can safely get up and around this. There we go. So what I'm doing now is uh, I'm kind of searching for that, that next level, that 300 foot winds or, or decline.
yeah this is just all flaking badly off the ribs on this side here yikes but there you can clearly see the vein there's the vein of silver and bear right all right what do we have here another door And uh, you can see what has come down from the seismic activity over the years. That's natural. The trick is, is not to have any of that come down while I'm in here, right? Alrighty. Now where does this go? Well, if we've got rail going this direction, Maybe we'll get to that winds. Looks like this was a workstation here. Well, wow, just loaded with artifacts. Yeah, I'm looking everywhere. I'm looking in the barrels. Seeing if we can't find anything neat down in here. Look at this old, that's a toolbox and uh, with a makeshift strap on it. Here's some little shelves, I don't know, these are just little boxes, maybe drawers that used to fit up into this thing here. Here's another one. That coffee can is full of something or another. Not sure. And a jar. Now around the corner here, look at all of the rolls of safety fuse, the empty rolls up in there. And a lot of um, vent pipe and whatnot. Okay. Turning around again. There's a date of 1950. The whole side of the mine gave way right here. This all failed. Busted that timber. Yikes. Let's get away from that. Okay. And indeed, the mine keeps on going up in there. It also goes this direction. What's up in here? Somewhere up above us is a false floor. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I see what's going on here. This is what's left of an ore chute. See, there's the lift gate right there. Oh boy, there is just a ton of stuff right through this section. Mm. Oh, I don't want to touch anything. Yeah, I'm looking up in there. I don't know, guys. That is really, this whole thing, this whole thing is failing. Okay. Well, maybe if I'm careful and I don't touch nothing, Here we 
we have some graffiti. Yeah, this is uh, really dangerous here. That's why I'm talking softly. This whole section is getting ready to fail. Just like it did on the other side of the mine. And being uh, 600 feet down in this, that's uh, pretty unnerving. What do we have over here? Well, I'm just treading lightly like a little church mouse through here. Yeah, see this stuff? It's just super duper flaky. Look at the look at the pressure on that. Look at the pressure here. See how that's compressed? How much further does this go? Oh wow. it's failing because um, just like that instantaneously there is a whole bunch of moisture I just got hit in the face with a bunch of moisture the mine keeps going that way and we have something that's drifting off this direction here's those things that dangle off the back of the mine that look like moss or roots but they're not up in here. Oh, big. A room full of ore shoots. Three of them. There's a there's a shovel. A sign that says uh, shoot number, but I can't read the number right there. Okay. And it goes up that way too. See how all that's flaking off there? This entire this entire area here of shoots is is starting to fail. There's a dynamite box there. Okay, and it keeps on going that direction. Yeah, I'm not going up into there. Nope, there's too much stuff coming down off the ribs. All right. Okay, now, look at this, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at how all this is just busting and failing. stall. Well, the theory is whatever was, was going to fail over the last 50 to 80 years has probably already done so. Here's a, I'm on a false floor here. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, off to my left, there's something that goes down here. What is this? Yep, there's a winds, but it looks like it might stop right there. Okay. Now turn it back around. Oh my gosh, it's 
it's really hard to get up in here and not touch anything. But once I get past this one section, I think I'll be okay. Yeah, I just need to get past. Oh, I can definitely tell this came down with earthquake activity. Okay, look at this beam here. See, that's all busted. Yeah. I'm still seeing people's, people's footprints on the ground. But this stuff here has all come down since, since the last time anybody was in here. Yeah, it sure has. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is really super duper cool, but mega dangerous. Okay, let's see if I can get around this without a big slab of rock falling on me. Look at that beam. Oh my gosh. Yeah. If that thing snapped, we'd be, we'd be in big trouble. Big trouble. Okay, I'm in here. What do we have? We have a... <sighs> Looks like a container for holding maybe lamp fuel. Yeah, everything above my head here is just twisting and bending. There's a, it reads up there, new stope. Shoot number one. Well, that's just just hang in there oh my god okay let's see if I can get around this okay shoot three Shoot four. Shoot five. What is that? Not sure. And up here by... Now that says shoot one. Now let's look up in there. Oh my gosh, no way. Nope, that's where I draw the line, guys. That's completely failing. We're not getting up in there. Okay. All right, I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna keep the camera rolling and uh, so if anything crazy happens, we'll catch it on camera. Gosh, let's hope not. Let's get around this sketchy area. There's a sign that says emergency exit. Yep, so indeed, just like the report said, um, there's lots of areas of this mine that are completely collapsing. And that's exactly what I'm seeing here. Look at this old wood barrel. Nothing in it. You guys have told me that ch chances are um, those little barrels like that, they had nails in them. This is what really concerns me here. Is that and how that's breaking right there. Now, 
Let's get out of this section as fast as possible. Okay, I made it. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad I'm taking you guys along with me because this is looking even more sketchy on the way back than it did on the way in. But, you know, here you can see that vein right there. This is what they're working. We're almost to safety. Wow. Look at how, look at the size of that rock and how it's starting to cleave off of the ribs there. It ain't going to take much for that to come down. Yeah, you might say my adrenaline is up a little bit. get out from under that. Oh, I like the air in this section is much nicer. That's because we're getting closer to the shaft. Okay, one last little sketchy section to get through here. There we go. Okay, now this is the last little nasty part here we got to get through. Yeah. Oh, I hope this doesn't come down on me. Oh, no, get me out of here. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, yeah, I came out of the uh, sketchy part only to look up and read, read that. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching over me. All right, so we're back here at the tool station again. Okay, I'm going to maybe take five or ten minutes here try to shake off some of the adrenaline and uh, I'll be right back okay guys yeah I had a chance to take a break and settle my nerves a bit we're back in that area where the accumulator was and the honey bucket um, over here that can reads 200 level on it and uh, like I said, that's a repurposed cyanide container. They didn't use it, use cyanide in the mine. But um, I wanted to show you this one more time. This just gorgeous, gorgeous specimen of barite right here. Yeah, I'm not going to go all the way down to the 600 level without uh, bringing back you guys, one of you guys, a really nice specimen from the deep down in the bowels of this mine. So I'm going to throw this one in the backpack. I think uh, one of you guys out there would really enjoy that. Um, so uh, head on over to the eBay site. It's down there in the description area of my of my uh, channel's videos. Uh, click on the link and it'll take you right over to Hidden Treasures Abound. That is my eBay site. Okay, there you go. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take that one. That's just gorgeous. But I do not do I do not take artifacts from mines. That is a no-no. Oh, I just noticed something here. Yeah. 
Um, you may, you guys may have seen it before, but I just noticed it right now. There's a stick of dynamite right there. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be the last thing I'd want to do is uh, blow off a toe or a foot and still have to climb 600 feet of ladders with a with a tourniquet. Because down in these mines, um, search and rescue will not come after you. Nope, you have to self-rescue if you get in, into any kind of trouble. And uh, I, I would want it that way. I don't want somebody else risking their life um, trying to rescue me. Okay, I'm gonna head on back to the shaft and uh, we have to make a decision from there. So I'll see you over there. Okay guys, I'm back over here at the 600 station. So I did take uh, about 10 minutes to look around a little bit more, see if I can find some other interesting artifacts that I haven't already showed you. Um, I really didn't find anything other than maybe a little bit more graffiti from the 30s and 40s. So here's what we've got. Right behind me is the shaft. And then the drift that we just went up to is right here in front of me. It went up and it teed to the left and teed to the right. To the right is where we just came from, where all of that uh, cribbing and uh, bracing was all falling down into the area of the ore chutes. And seeing all those ore chutes makes perfect sense because when we were back up on that, on that uh, drift above us here, and we went into it. Remember when we saw those, those uh, I, I was calling them um, ore passes? Well, from that point, we were at the top of all of those ore chutes. And down here at the 600, we're at the base. And that's where they were bringing all the ore over here to the shaft and up and out of the mine. Now, the, the report said that there was another 300-foot winds or decline somewhere down here on the 600 level. I would imagine that probably used to exist um, up that direction and off to the left, but that whole entire thing collapsed over there and it completely sealed off any access to the uh, that, that extra 300 feet deeper into this mine. So with that, there's no other choice but to do you know what. I gotta pack up my gear and climb back up 600 feet of ladders um, I don't know who left this green tea down in the mine, probably from either 94 or 2004, but it's just as good as the day it was made. I appreciate it very much. Okay, uh, so with that, uh, yeah, I will, um, uh, I'll get back with you guys when I get topside and uh, I'll see you up there where the sun shines. Okay, I'll see you up there. Okay, everybody, back outside, safe and sound. I would say that probably took me, I'm saying, I'm thinking about an hour and a half to get back out of that mine. What I did is every 20 feet or every stretch of ladders, I just took a break, took a break, took a break, and I never looked up. <laughs> That's the thing about these places. You never look up. <laughs> All right, well, I really do appreciate you all coming along with me for this just fantastic explore. Like I said, I've been wanting to get into this one for a long time, um, just because I knew it was a really good challenge, and I know for a fact that no other YouTuber has been down in this mine. So with that, uh, thanks again for coming along, and I will see you again next weekend. All right, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.